Hello, and welcome to the Turo County Public Library's sixth virtual computer class. I am your host, Mr. Jared, and today we will be exploring how to use the online program called Canva. Uh, this can also be downloaded to your desktop as well. There are some options in there for that, and I can show that to you a little bit later. But essentially, this online program is a really good graphic design tool, especially for making posters, for making social media posts, uh, for making thumbnails for videos, and a whole array of different things that you can do with it. It's a really, really good tool, and it is quite user-friendly. I find it a little bit easier to use than with Microsoft Office, with many of its different features on there, especially when you're dealing with images and trying to make things look very professional-looking. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So, we, we already have our browser open, and so this is what the website looks like. It is, you know, this is their user login page. And as you can see, there's lots of different, different uh, options available to you here. Um, to get to it, you can either do a Google search and just search up Canva, or you can type in www.canva.com, as you can see up here. Now, for us, we're going to log in, um, and you might want to go in here and sign up. So we will enter our email in here real quick. All right. And here we are. So this is your basic home page in Canva. Now, I'm go before we dive in, I know it seems like there's a lot on here, but I'm going to go through each thing on this page one by one, and a lot of it is the kind of the same thing that crosses over. So the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to go look at the right column over here. So this right column is kind of a lot of the places where you can go uh, to for different features in Canva. So the first thing you'll see is recommended for you. So essentially, when you click on this, this is this page. Here it pulls up all the different formats, uh, different templates that you can go to. So you have presentation style, you have flyer style, poster style, card style, Instagram post, logo, so on and so forth. Um, the stuff that it just kind of recommends stuff based on what you've done in the past. So as you can see here, I do a lot of flyers and posters. So these pop up as kind of the most recommended for my uh, activities based on how on what I do. Um, and if we scroll down, you'll see here recent designs. So you'll see some older ones here. You might recognize it. So here I made the DVD releases a little while ago. Um, we also have Instagram post here. So if we have an Instagram or social media, we do a lot of social media posting. So as you can see here, we have recommended templates that we can grab onto. Um, then we have posters, uh, recommended posters that might be new for new for right now. There's also Facebook posts as well that we can put up that are um, templates that we can draw from as well. Um, and then we just go down kind of a line of different things that are available. And usually they have a different array of things that you can grab onto um, and onto at certain points of the year. Like they will come out with um, basic templates for Easter because we just had Easter. We had St. Patrick's Day a little while before that. Um, and then also it's spring, so there might be some kind of bright colored as you can see here for the Instagram stories, you see brightly colored flowery sort of um, posts here that might not exactly be Easter related, but just kind of the season season related, you know? So these are very, very useful items. Here we also have infographics. So we've used infographics in the past. Um, that's kind of one of the cool things about Canva. There's just so many different templates you can grab from, and so many different designs and dimensions that you can grab onto to create whatever you want to for your business or for your personal or for uh, your social media or whatever that you're working on. So I won't get too bogged down, but it kind of goes into the list of stuff that seems to be 
most prioritized based on your use of the program. So we see this. So the next thing we're going to go to is all your designs. So we'll click on all your designs. So this is the stuff that has been authored by me as well as members on my team. Now, if you're wondering what that means, you can uh, create a team on Canva where you essentially have, especially in a business, you work with a group of people and you all kind of share the same sort of flyers, uh, especially in an office sort of environment. If you're working in kind of a big video or a big advertising campaign, you might need to pass it around to your boss or to a coworker in order for them to proofread it or give it give it approval, or you might want them to input something in there that they might be expert on, um, in terms of like you know, send it over for we'll send it over to Carol for instance, who is in charge of the money, so she knows how much we need to price for whatever campaign that we're trying to do, whatever it shall be, but it allows for you to select people on a certain team who also have Canva um, and they can all contribute to uh, the same document that you're working on. As you can see here we have a lot of stuff that we have worked on in the past. So that's pretty much there, it's just going back to what your previous stuff was. Um, if you're curious as to what this is, uh, these are advanced options. You can make a copy of something. So if I click this, I'll go over here to this one because this one's kind of yeah, so we'll make a copy of that, and look, it's generating a copy, and while it's generating there, it might take it a couple of seconds, uh, we're going to go over here, and we're going to move this to trash, because this was just an experimental thing, and it gives you the option to undo before you send something officially into the trash. You also have selection, and the selection here, not only you can send it into deletion, but you can also select a whole bunch of different stuff in here and place it into a specific folder. But we're not going to do that. So that's that. Here are all your recent designs. So stuff that you have recently done in the past couple of weeks or so, and all the stuff that's been done chronologically. So here it's organized by just what you have in your system and not necessarily by a chronological order. This by chronology. Now the there's not too much else to say here, it's kind of the same options that we have here. So I'll make a copy, move to a folder, download, you can share it with another person. Um, I will show that feature to you once we get into uh, the program itself. Um, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Here we have comment and like, so if you are asked to prove something you can comment or like it. It gives you the option to do that, almost like a social media page a little bit, or also a little bit like Google Docs, if you remember from one of our previous videos. So, we're going to go to Shared With You. So this is stuff that is not specifically authored by you, um, but you have had people share with you, or you've sent to them, or they've shared back with you. Um, so here we have different thumbnails for our different videos. So. Creative Corner with Miss Megan, as well as the, you know, uh, Creative Corner with Miss Megan, as well as uh, Storytime Craft with Miss Megan, as well. Um, we also have our different calendars that we come up with here of all our different events, um, so on and so forth. So all this really cool stuff that's here that you can get to that you know that you didn't author but was shared with you, you can easily get to. Now there is one thing I will say about Canva. Canva is free. The basic model is free, but there are a couple of different versions of it um, that you can get that depend on whether or not you're willing to pay for something. There is an enterprise version that is for individuals that work for a company that might be a company specific sort of thing. Um, there is also stuff for nonprofits that's available in there, packages. Uh, there's Pro. Um, right here so as you can see they'll have advertised try Canva Pro so if you are an individual or a part of a company you can pay a little bit uh, per month in order to have the full enchilada of all of Canva's features but they do give you quite a bit um, with the free version that's available here and one of the pluses of having the uh, Canva Pro is that you get to create a logo 
Um, you have the ability to create a brand logo and then you can save that and kind of stamp it on to all of your different things. So here as an example you have what their logo looks like as well and you can play around with it. You can upload stuff so anything that you see is kind of a plus mark right this like this is an uploading of something that's from your files so that's essentially what that is um, but we won't get too much into this we're just gonna stick with what the free version offers so the next thing you have is all your folders so here you have different different areas of things that you can go to so here you have all your designs you go back so again that's a folder that's kind of a default made and they're shared with you. You can go to your shared ones. You can also create folders. So here we have a general folder of stuff that we made a little while ago that we stuck things into. Um, and we also have trash. So if you erase something and you didn't want to erase it, you know, you can go back to that. Uh, there's also purchased stuff that you might have purchased from them because there are some templates that have features in them that are require purchasing, but they are available. Uh, and you can also over here create a new folder. So we're, while we're here, let's create a folder. So we're going to name it test folder. And you can share it with somebody on your team. So if I typed in a person's email into here, it would appear. Um, but I will do can edit and share because it's a test folder. Um, so share you know create and share folder and so this is my team so I've done that everybody that's on my team list which we will get to in a minute um, has the ability to access this folder add things to this folder change things to this folder all different levels of control that you can have here you cannot share it at all you you can you can share it with them but they can only view it you can share it with them they can only edit um, and I'm giving them the full control of not only can they edit but they can also share it to other people so we'll create and share folder so yes, the folder is empty, but it's there, and we can start adding stuff to it. So test folder, um, and you know, again, more stuff that you can do here, but you have to pay for it. So now that we've done that, we'll go to trash, and here is just kind of our trash stuff. We also have images and videos. Um, so we don't haven't really done too much with images that we've deleted and videos that we've deleted, but we will get to those features of what you can do with videos and audio and images in Canva. So now that we've done that, we are going to move on to Teams. So here is my team here for the library. So I will click on this. And so here, and we see directly below all of the different designs that ha are shared and created by the team that we're on. You can also search up templates directly on here. Um, we also have folders. So folders that have been shared with the team, we have a general folder and a test folder. We also have apps. So another thing that you can do is add different features in here, different apps. It is very compatible with other online programs and websites. Uh, this includes Google Drive, includes QR code, it includes Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the whole gamut of different stuff that you can you can have very integrated and easily shareable stuff. Um, we also have people. Now I'm not gonna get too deep into this. I don't want to show anybody else's name on this. Uh, this is kind of confidential. Um, but here you can click on get invite link. So here if I click on this, it creates a link. So all I have to do is copy this, send it to somebody, they go into, they click on the link, they come to a page and they join part of the team. Or you can send a direct invitation to a particular member. So if I were to type in an email here, um, you can select as to whether or not they're a member or administrator, and you can send them an email inviting them to this, and they'll accept it um, or not. And you can send to multiple people. You can send it to not just five, but more than that. You can keep on adding as many people as you want to invite to your team. This is very helpful if you're working on some on projects for a particular company or organization or club. Um, but yeah, so this these features are here. So here, I'm not going to go down too far, but um, we have the members of the team. So there's six members on this team. 
Um, so you can see the first one is myself, and it says what the role of that individual is. Um, but we won't go any further and show anything else. Um, you can also search up search up members by name or email. If you have a big organization, you might have like 20 some or so people in there. So it may be easier to just search up that person's name or email to see if they're on the list and what their role is. Um, but yeah, this is essentially what the this is. Groups. Um, so you can create a group for different projects within that team. So you'll have a group. So we'll create a group here, administrator, member, you can create a group name, and you add different people to it. So if you are assigning a specific project for something, let's say you're a part of a big business that has like 20 some, individ 20 -some different employees, uh, you might want to create groups. So for a library, a uh, big library that has 20 or so people, you might create a group that's specifically for the reference desk. You might create a group specifically for the young adult section or a group specifically for the children's section of the library. So any advertising that they do is within that group and that team, you know, a group is within the team um, and stuff gets shared immediately with them. So that's a way of easy collaboration. Um, so here we would just name the group, add members, add yourself, however it is, and similar to uh, just the members in general that are on the team, you can do all sorts of different things. So we're going to go back to Jared's team, um, and then we got settings here. So here we have, especially when you are working with an organization, you have things that like anyone with a pedigrewlibraries.org email can join, because there are several um, several of the members on this, pretty much all the members of, of this team have pedigrewlibraries.org at the end of their email. You can have anyone with this can join it. Um, anyone with this can request to join. Um, and only, or you can specify only invited people can join. Uh, it depends on how restrictive you want. So right here we kind of have just this here. So, you know, anyone with that can request to join. And anybody else that we sent that might be outside of the organization, we can send a specific invitation. Um, and here is, if you click on this, now that we've covered this, it's just another way to invite members as well to that. It's the same thing that we just saw a little while ago, just in kind of a more condensed version of it. Um, so, but yeah, that's that. The next thing that we have here is uploads. So, as you can see, we have uploads. So, you have inside of Canva, you have a lot of photos and stuff that are available to you, but sometimes you might not find the exact thing that you want. So you can upload stuff from the internet or from your computer um, that you would use to make up whatever it is. So as you he see here, we uploaded a QR code, we uploaded a cover of a book, and see live a picture of Edgar Allan Poe because when we searched the images, there wasn't something specific for Edgar Allan Poe. Um, now, I will give you a little bit of caution. Um, if you are uploading an image and it's something that's going to be very public, make sure that the image is in public domain or you have the permission of the creator or it's something that's widely used and you're only talking about it. So here, for example, Google Docs and NC Live, there was no profit involved with that video, with those videos at all. Um, they were just talking about how to use the how to use the items um, and we upload the images of those into there so people can see and you know it, it just be careful with that it's always it's always uh, easy to just assume oh if I reuse a photo um, and put it into whatever design I'm making um, that it'll it'll be okay but you never know um, especially if you're reaching a lot of people with whatever you're designing just be careful of that. All of the stuff that's found within Canva uh, generally is, you know, has the permission of the creators or it's created by Canva itself and they are giving you permission uh, to use the images that they have collected. So it's pretty cool. It's a lot, big, big catalog that they have. It's not perfect. They don't have very, very specific things. Like they didn't have something of Edgar Allan Poe, things that are specific like that may have to go online for but most other things themes ideas occasions 
uh, holidays, whatever you put in there, it usually has a photo or an image related to it. So yeah, um, and below that, we already kind of covered it, are different folders that we have. So we have starred here, uh, different folders. So um, we have our general folder, which is important, then we use that. And, you know, if we wanted to, we could go in and star some of the other stuff that we got. So here, let's see what other sort of things we got here. So we'll click here. We can rename this. We can add a banner, delete, delete the folder, present folder. You can create a new folder here. So all different little sections. And you can share this with different people, or you can upload new stuff to this folder. So yeah, so we're going to go back to our main page, recommended for you. Um, and to give you an idea of how you can, you know, since we were in a folder, how can we add something to a folder? Well, we're going to go, let's say we want to go to, I don't know, we'll grab this one. And we're going to move to a folder. And we're going to throw it into test folder. And there it is, it's in test folder. And that's how you do that. So now that we've covered all the stuff over here, we're gonna go in the other direction and we're gonna talk about the stuff that's in the design anything area. So the design anything area just gives you different templates and stuff you can go by. So here we have the for you, as I mentioned before, stuff that in the order of which that seems to be of most interest and use to us based on our user history. Um, we can go through here and it has different things available. And yes, you can, you can make a resume, you can make videos, you can make a certificate, and you can make a menu in here, very versatile. They have formats for pretty much everything. Um, you have presentations, um, so here they have presentations, talking presentations. So if you want to, which is really cool, and I can show you how to do this, create a post and you might put your, might video yourself. You can take that video of yourself and stick it into the image. So as the image is going, sitting in there, you can present something uh, and talk about a specific subject. So that's that. Here we have mobile first presentation presentation by 4x3, by so for different formats, this is more for like a tablet, uh, and brainstorm presentation as well. So very, very cool. Got social media format, so Instagram, Facebook, Instagram story, your story, Facebook cover, TikTok, YouTube thumbnail, YouTube intro, all this different cool thing, these different cool things. You have videos, so you can create just a video and add different features to it. Uh, video message, Facebook video, yes, you can do animation in this, which is very cool, and mobile video, uh, video collage, all sorts of different things. Now, don't get overwhelmed. We're not going to really dive into too much of the video stuff here. We're just going to stick with kind of the basic things that you can do. So, essentially, posters, flyers, uh, and social media posts. And if you want to insert a video into a social media post, we will show you how to do that. But, you know, we're not going to dive too deep into it. We'll save that for a future video. So we have print products. So here, when you design something, you can actually order it from Canva directly and uh, purchase different things. So, uh, for example, my wife uh, runs a small business, and so she created a business card out of Canva. And she placed an order in, and she got a box back full of the uh, design that she made for her business card. And so she has those. Um, it's very affordable, and it's very personalized. So, yeah, it's all available there. Yeah, and you can even do t-shirt designs as well. Uh, they have formats for that, too. So it's really cool. Marketing, poster, logo, more stuff that we mentioned before office related stuff so aside from the flashy stuff you can also do resume a for document a report a planner a letter a letterhead a proposal graphic organizer invoice all this sort of stuff now here i you know this stuff is certainly available um and it makes it a little bit easy to work on in terms of 
creating something, especially for like a resume, you might want something that stands out. And the graphics in this are quite, uh, quite cool, <laughs> and do capture attention. Um, but the I do find it a little bit easier to get all of my information organized in Word. But you can certainly give it a try here in terms of creating um, a letterhead or creating a letter, formal letter or formal uh, resume as well. You can certainly give it a try and they have all sorts of different formats and different designs that are created um, that you can choose from. So it's not just one type of resume, there's like a hundred different resume types that you can choose from, which is really cool. And then there's the more feature. So yes, infographic, collage, so stuff that doesn't fit neatly into these categories, you can grab onto. So if you're an author and you're trying to come up with a book design, you might want to use this, like they have a specific uh, design pattern that you can use for a book cover. Um, so all sorts of really cool stuff. If none of the stuff, despite the extensive list that they got, fits into what you need, you can click on this custom size. So you click here, and there's a few things that you can do. You can do inches, millimeters, or centimeters, or pixels. Um, and so here, I can specify the width and the height. So 8.5 by 11 I could do. I could do whatever dimensions that I wouldn't want, and whatever that the template that you're going to work with. Um, will follow whatever those dimensions that you specify. So really cool and useful tool. So let's just 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 for demonstration's sake, let's do a 10 by 10. Create new design. And look, we have a 10 by 10 poster. And there are a couple of similar sort of designs that you can use. Um, and specifically, the, specifically, it kind of falls into this 10 by 10 dimension. It uh, kind of falls into logos. So as you can see here, you have logos for different companies that fall into this. There's probably a different size, but, you know, it kind of comes up here. And you have, yeah, so really cool stuff. Click on there. And here's the color. And this five-second time editing, editing time, um, you can insert videos. And a lot of times... Uh, logos and square sort of formats like this are kind of YouTube posts, uh, not YouTube posts, um, Facebook posts that kind of have a graphic or animated element to them that, um, you know, you can put into there. So that's what that is. So we're, we're not going to go too deep into this, but we'll go back here. And so, yeah, that's how you can create a custom sized one that might not fit into any neatly into any of these categories. Um, and that's super helpful. So that's that. So now we're going to go to this top bar up here. So the first thing is a lot of the stuff that we just talked about. So if you are kind of a little bit more of a list type of person, um, it lists all of the different things that you can do here. So let's take a look at what a t-shirt one looks like. So here you have all sorts of different stuff. So I'm going to click on this and you can use the template. and boom, it brings up that template for you to use and you can create whatever t-shirt design that you want. Um, but we're all set with that. So we're going to go back to our home page. Uh, and as you can see here, everything that you do gets saved instantly onto here. So don't worry about having to save it instantly every time that you make a change or it closing out on you. It will automatically save just like in Google Docs. It'll save everything in real time for for the most part. And sometimes it takes a second for it to catch up. I will I will say, um, but it does pretty keep pretty much up to what you're doing in real time. So there you go. So back to this, we got our social media, our personal stuff, our in, our business related stuff, our marketing, our education stuff as well. So you can create lesson plans, certificates, bookmarks class schedules, canvas prints, Easter cards, YouTube intros, book, photo books, all sorts of different things that are in all these different categories. So here it's kind of more the list sort of stuff and you can click on specific things in here and see what they look like and if it fits what you're trying to do. So we're going to leave templates. Now we're going to go back to features 
and you can click directly on features to get more of an idea as to what sort of stuff is going on here. But we're gonna go, we're gonna just gonna stick with the with the drop down here. So we'll go back and we'll click on our template. So because I didn't click on that, um, here it kind of puts it out all in front of you, so you can see see everything all at once. If you prefer to see things more individually, um, and again. You click on all this stuff here, it breaks it down to different categories that you can go to. But we won't get too much into the weeds, so we're going to go back to our features here. Features, we have photos. So here, our catalog of free photos that you can search up. Um, all this stuff is free. Um, all this stuff uh, in terms of copyright is either owned by Canva themselves or they've received the permission of the artist or the photographer that has put this all together. So we're going to, since we're librarians, we're going to search up books. And here we got lots of pictures on books. Now, as you can see here, um, when we type that in, we got a couple of things that are free. So here in the corner we see free. Here we see paid which means you have to pay for these images in order to be worked into your artwork that you're doing, whatever project that you're working on. Um, as I said, not all of it's free. Um, that's partly why, why it's appealing to have the membership in there, the pro membership, because you can get all of this stuff, uh, or a lot of this stuff for free. So, yeah, that's that's essentially essentially what that is. So we're going to go back to our features. So we are back in our features over here. And as you can see, free photos, backgrounds, nature, animals, food, people. You can see all the different categories within that. When we really start digging into the program, um, I will show you all the different things that you can do. Um, there's social media icons that you can put in there and create icons, print products again, apps. So as you can see here, um, it they work with Google Maps, Giphy, QR codes, Bitmoji, YouTube, Duotone. Um, you know, there's it's very integrated. You can grab onto all these different things. A lot of them are free. Some of them cost money, um, as usual. But you can grab onto these and share whatever you're working on here with that with these different uh, types of uh, types of applications. Um, so yeah, very useful, very easy to share. Um, explore teams, videos, graphs, and charts. So yes, that's available for there. And then you can download stuff. So here, if I wanted to, since I'm a Mac, if I clicked on this, I could download to have whatever this current version is of Canva onto my desktop entirely if you're going to be working in a place that does not have internet connection. Um, so yes, this stuff is really useful. Um, right all there for you. Next thing is you have tutorials, um, courses, learning here. You can go through and learn how to do the different tips and tricks. So like I'm doing, I'm just giving you a tour of their stuff. They have courses and tutorials and blogs about how to use and do different things, business related. So you can follow blogs about nonprofits, marketing, design. Um, you can use, you have courses on personal branding, social media mastery, graphic design basics, branding your business, uh, presentation, presentation to impress, um, you know, all different sort of things on here. You can take a list. So we'll click on the courses so we can see. Um, but all these are free. Um, uh, most of these seem to be free. Some of them might probably cost a little bit of money, but you can watch this stuff um, and and follow along with these courses, and you can get a good idea as to how to really learn um, learn with this. So it's a very good tool. So we're gonna go back to here. Um, so we've done our learn. Um, and our next thing here, we'll go back to our home here because it's, yeah, we're going to go to pricing. So as I discussed before, we have all these different versions here. We have our free version that we are currently in. It's for small teams, basically for the individual free small teams, people who might be starting a business and might have only themselves and maybe one or two other employees. Very useful. A lot of features are already worked into the free stuff. Uh, it's not like you'll be completely out of 
uh, out of luck uh, in terms of features if you choose just the free model. There's a lot of stuff in there. Um, there's also the Pro. So if you are somebody who does, who relies on Canva quite frequently and needs a constant stream of stock photos, uh, that's kind of one of the strengths here. You've got stock photos that are free, free or little of no cost. You might prefer to just, you know, skip the free, uh, you know, you need more than just what's offered in the free, and you'll select the Pro and purchase however that you want. Enterprise, as I mentioned before, is kind of for big businesses. And it allows for, you know, hundreds of hundreds of people to collaborate all at once on creating different designs and marketing campaigns. Um, you also have education. So there is an educational aspect of it that you might have to pay for a little bit. Um, some of it, from what I gathered from the literature, seems to be mostly free. Uh, and then there's nonprofits. So for you can get the Canva Pro version or a part of it uh, for free if you're a registered non profit. So if you work in the nonprofit industry, um, you can apply for this and get this and get a lot of the features that are available in the Pro, Canva Pro version. So really useful stuff. So that's the pricing and everything. Um, so I'm going to stop in a little bit. We're going to make this kind of a two-part video because it is quite a bit of stuff in here. Um, I could chew your ear off for probably easily over an hour on the different features and stuff that's available in here. So we're going to stop in a little bit, um, but I will cover a little bit more before we end our session. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to create a design. So we see here we have a lot of the stuff that we mentioned before. Um, you can do a custom size like we did before. Um, and you can do edit photo. It takes a second. You can upload a photo from here and edit it any way that you want. We're not going to do that, though. Um, so let's say we're looking for something specific. Let's say we are creating a YouTube video. So let's do YouTube. Oh, gosh, goodness, we got a YouTube thumbnail. So we can click on that, and we get a YouTube thumbnail. So... loaded here and as you can see we got all these different templates that we can pick from um, now you don't have to choose from here you can start from scratch if you prefer there's nothing wrong with that so you can click on something that's already created so here we'll go to maybe some of the recommendations that they put on here well some of the stuff eh, not too interested um let's create the you know what let's create the thumbnail for this video why not? So here we have this. I could use this again, but I'm going to go back home because I already have kind of a good template that I have going for it. So let's go back to our recent designs. And here is our last uh, last thumbnail for this video, for this video series. So as you can see, I had kind of gotten from this um, template here, um, and I modified it to my own, to how I wanted it to look. So here, we're going to change a little bit of stuff. So we got lesson six, and we're going to name this Canva part one. And then we can change the color. So I will go into here, and we're going to go, let's see, I like this blue. That's a good blue. Click on that. And if there's none of these designs are what you're looking for, you can click on this. And you can take this thing and kind of drag it around to wherever you want it to go. So here we can say, oh, well, I kind of like that, or I like this darker color, wherever you want it to be. But we're just going to go with the one that we had before. So we got this here, and then we're going to get rid of that here, and we're going to change this to, let's see, a light gray background, because why not? We're going to go to here, pick this, because it will show, and if you're wondering, to make it easier, because sometimes it's hard to match the colors, um, it does show up 
here as to document colors of what you've done. Um, and so you're not having to try and guesstimate as to which, you know, what is what is <laughs> what is the color I'm looking for, sort of thing. Here you just click on what you've already done, collects that, so it makes it real easy. So there we've gotten that. Oh geez, I moved that a little bit too much. There we go. Um, and we can animate this if we want, but there's no need to. So we're gonna go to our. We can either go to our uploads. So since we we don't really have anything that we've uploaded to this, so we're going to go to photos. Now I'm going to search up Canva. So there's this that's on there. Not so not really cool photos. Let's see, and elements. So elements, if you're wondering, uh, essentially is kind of clip art um, and thumbnails and stuff that you can stick into a. Uh, image or into a into a document. So let's see what they have on Canva. Here we go. We got the Canva logo, and that's free. And so we can take this and we can drag it into the center here. So here we now have our Canva video thumbnail created, and it's ready to go. So really cool stuff. Uh, and here, when you click on something, it also gives you recommendations of other things. So here we have, you know, Photoshop Pro. We have Doc. Uh, I believe this is Docs or Graphs. I can't. I'm not too, quite too sure. You have Banners. Um, it grabs onto stuff that's related to it that you might be, you might want to grab onto. So very cool stuff. So yeah, and that's how you create a basic thumbnail from a or from something that's one of the templates. Now, don't hesitate, don't think that um, picking a, a template is, you know, you have to undo, you have to undo everything. In fact, it's probably the easiest part of this. Starting from scratch, I find, is both liberating um, and also one of the harder things to do on this because you have to put everything into it. If you like a certain design, if you want something that already has a good feel to it, um, go with one of the templates. Modify it to be your own. You can change the colors. You have a lot of control over what you can do in this. Uh, it's quite, quite cool. Um, it requires a lot of playing around with, with stuff. So, I think we're gonna leave it here today. Thank you for joining us today. As you can see, we've created our thumbnail for this video, um, and we will be here in a couple of, be here again in a couple of weeks to cover the other half of Canva. I know we didn't really get into the nitty gritty today with Canva, but we did cover a lot of stuff to, just to give you an idea as to what's available here, what you can do, and what what sort of features are available. And, you know, I encourage you to kind of explore it, get used to it, uh, learn how it works, play around with the different features, it's okay, you're not gonna break anything, <laughs> I promise. So yes, so thank you for joining us today, and uh, this is Jared Jacobone at the Toro County Public Library signing off, and we will see you in a couple of weeks. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, especially if you are following along with our com virtual computer classes uh, to get the latest updates and the latest videos in our video series. Thank you again, and have a wonderful day.